It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Charlamagne the God here, Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Andrew is not here this week. I don't know where Andrew at. Where is Andrew this week? Nobody knows? He's in LA doing something. Andrew, I need you to stand over here because our guest, one of our <laughs> guests, he thinks you're eye candy and I like my guests to be inspired. Okay? Angelo, Jason Lee is here. Yes. Lulu and Lala are here. From What's K- up? I don't Thanks like for to say having us. KTU. What? I don't like to say from KTU. What Why? do you like to say? I just like to say Lulu and Lala. You can say Lulu and Lala. That's yeah. fine what with What is Lala? KTU? KTU is the radio station that they work for uh, here in New York City. Oh. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're part of the iHeart Mafia. Okay, are you guys We're, reckless or what's the show? We're a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We um, do the night show, so. You, you know. can be a little reckless. Yeah, yeah, of course. What's the most reckless thing y'all have ever done? On the on, on radio, you think? I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> talked but, about Well, uh, we got in trouble because we talked about Trump's hair. And so that went up the, the corporate ladder. Yeah. yeah, I'm not even joking. On what, KTU? Yeah. Well, you got in trouble at iHeart? Well, we were brought to our attention that there were a couple of people, listeners, that didn't like the fact that we made fun of his hair. And so we were told to, you know, tone down and maybe not talk about Man. politics. So you so should have called like, him a Cheeto. I should have. Yeah. <laughs> I've never gotten that phone call. Yeah, me yeah. neither. Well, you're shouting me, so it's, it's a little different. It's a little different. I'm glad you know, God damn it. Listen, <laughs> hey, I'm glad that y'all are here, though, because um, Jason... <laughs> we love Jason. Jason is trying yeah. to... Yeah. Jason has a book out, first and foremost. Where's the book? You don't have a copy oh, of the book? Can, can somebody give me the book? Oh, me oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. He has a book out called God Must Have Forgotten About Me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's a great read. Jason has been through a lot of things in his life. We can get through uh, all of that. But first and foremost... What do you do when you want to bag somebody, right? <laughs> like, 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 like Lulu and Lala, when y'all want to bag a guy. Yeah. How do y'all make it known? How do y'all fish? Um, well, why don't you tell them the story of how you bagged your boyfriend, Lala? I didn't. I yes, didn't you did. Totally went it. fishing. I, okay. And he grabbed. And now you're together. <laughs> okay, you know the term? It all went down in the DM. Yes, Literally, yes. it went down in the DM. Taylor, get out the way. The mic let wax come in. I uh, I met him at an event we were doing Fiesta Latina, and okay. he's he was a background vocalist for for an artist, and I just thought he was cute, and he asked for a picture, and then I found him on Instagram, and she DM'd him. <laughs> no, straight. I didn't straight, DM him. Straight. No, yes, you're you such did. a liar. I just liked his a few pictures that enough for him to be like, oh, who's this? Yeah, and then he reached out. Have you ever tried to DM anybody, Jason? I DM every day. Every day. I DM'd See, all so the way here. It's quite yeah, common, actually. I mean, actually. I DM'd Angelo. He knows. Ooh. Oh, okay, so let's get to it. That's, not <laughs> not that's, what, I Angelo. that's what I was leading into. Yo, I was on my way to a date and saw Angelo. I was like, fuck. You know what I mean? He got a girl, but she likes me, so we can all have fun. Yeah, I saw Angelo. He had, uh, you know, what he did, he did that sneaky shit people do. What do you do? He posted a video and he tagged me. Ooh. I didn't even know it was him though. But here's my messy ass. I slid in the DM saying, what's his Instagram? Thinking it was Taylor. Yeah. And then he was like, ha ha ha, you funny. So I go to the page, I'm like, oh, it's that nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so he, you know, he helped me out. But yeah, I slide in DMs all day bait. long. The little bait? Yeah, little bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Wax, thanks for like introducing well, me to that. <laughs> no, no, all of you. <laughs> yeah, then, it, then, then, you know, I didn't really know how to catch the vibe, so I told my staff, I was texting them on the I was like, you know, yo, get the camera guy's number because we need camera guys in New York, you know? And I believe in, like, helping everybody make money. Like, just make your money. You know, we can go on a date on the side. So they was plotting (laughs) on getting a number. And then they told me he was a twerk god. I'm like, oh, shit, it's lining up. I didn't know he was a twerk god until this week. Yo, listen, and and he gave himself his own name. It's it's called Twerk God Unlocked. He named himself. He already. Listen. So you branded already. Angelo is in the family right now. Yes. I made him... um, Man Crush Monday every day on my Instagram right now. Wow. wow. I move quick. It must feel special. I move quick. So, Angela, you, you buy? Yeah, biracial, that's it. <laughs> well, I mean, we gotta start somewhere. We gotta I start that. somewhere. I ain't asked you to come on the mic now. Get back away. See, okay? That's your problem. You wanna rush to every mic except for Jason. Right. It's still early. I'm coming back tomorrow. Now, is it easy to turn guys out? Well, I don't know about turning out. I just think that every man wants to. Uh, every man, every man. Well, y'all got it. Y'all got it hard. Not yeah. every man because he waxes over there getting. He getting ready to say, "Not me." You know, you that. got the ass thing downstairs. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. <laughs> but uh, I think every man has had an idea or at least try to conceptualize it in their mind. So once the seed has been planted, I think you just got to pour water. That's on a it. trick question, though. Uh, what that's do a you trick mean? thought. I don't know what that's a question. That's a trick. Uh, ideology you have not in Europe meaning meaning that I don't know what that means yes <laughs> as a man we've drove around and like 
Why would, why would a man want to get head from another man? That's retarded. Right. Yo, this, this little bus mentality that's been going on the last week. Like, I didn't say that, but right. I, well, I yes, wax mine. You've yeah. thought about it. That's why when I talked to one of my homies, I want to know, like, if, okay, so have you been with a woman? And if they say yes, and you've been with a man, so I want to know the differences. I mean, that's I don't yeah, so, think that, that's me want, being curious about trying it, though. Yeah, what is yeah. the difference? I'm curious to know. Well, like, I, I never liked hot sauce, but like one day I got a piece of chicken, they're like, yo, try some hot sauce. I tried it, now every time I get chicken, I got to have a hot sauce. I mean, I don't know. You I just, just had to come back to meat in your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I just think, you know what I mean? I don't know. I've, I've seen more guys, and there's a new epidemic now, right? Like, men love transsexuals. And I'm not mad at that. Like, I, I, I'm not mad. I just think the playing field has gotten a little uneven now because these men love... <laughs> love <laughs> transsexuals because somewhere in their mind it's just like okay I'm just not going to look at the balls I know they got oh, balls man, but fuck it's, it it's men that love you know? transsexuals that love transsexuals what? men don't love transsexuals man love their trans- wife is sitting at home taking care of their say? kids waiting on him while he's with the transsexuals men that love transsexuals love transsexuals it's men not like that all, love transsexuals like love transsexuals men love sex- transsexuals oh I get what he's saying well yeah. I, I don't know what's going on but something's happening in America it's just turning they always been loving them though really yeah they ain't just now start coming around they've been out there no that's true Drag that's queens. That's yeah, all. that's true. That's true. Good. Yeah, but a drag queen and a transsexual are two different things. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's just a love. Another yeah, like RuPaul is yeah. a drag queen. Yeah. But uh, T.S. Madison is a transsexual. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, Flame Monroe. You know, Flame Monroe is a different, different type of transsexual. <laughs> Hilarious. That's my guy. I, well, that's God, not God, your God. guy. Gosh. Right. He, she, we is what he calls. He, yeah, she, yeah, we is controversial, himself. though, you know? <laughs> Does that make y'all feel like, you know... Uncomfortable? No, not uncomfortable. Just picking to slim. Damn, just tell on yourself, huh? Like, no, not at all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, I haven't commented much. I'm just listening because I didn't. I don't think you make that comment where it's like all men now are more attracted to transsexuals. I don't. How do you come up with that conclusion? Yeah. Well, see, in your mind as a woman and as women, you don't think about your man. In your mind, you do not wake up thinking about your man looking at another man. So you watching every other bitch in the room. Mm. But a lot of women whose eye is on the other female, has really taken her eye off of what he's really doing. I mean, there's a lot of men that I meet, and it's scary, too, because it's like, I find out they got a girl later. Like, Angelo, I found out he has a whole girl. <laughs> so he flirted like, with you first, and then told yeah, like, he, he started it. He now, just, now was like, he flirting with you, or oh, did you uh, make an assumption? Angelo's in love, but he don't know. So it's <laughs> yes. like a process. So it's like, okay, Angelo, let's take a trip. <laughs> okay. You know, like, let's go somewhere tropical. Like, we ain't even got to, like... Are you a trick, Jason? Oh, hell yeah, I'm a trick. <laughs> <laughs> crazy? He, he said he going to take him shopping. Uh, Angelo Ayers went straight up in When Angelo come to work, one day y'all gonna look at him y'all gonna know when it happened so y'all gonna be like Jason took you so got him absolutely but you supposed to take care of the person you with I think it ain't tricking if the person is worth it right damn right green eyes too shit <laughs> what's the most you ever spent on a man Jason? what's your rent like um it just depends I mean like I've had relationships where my partner didn't work for three years so and, wow. and had money you know well what's yeah. the most you've spent on a woman I mean my wife yeah I, I mean, it's, it's endless. I don't know what that bill like. Charlamagne's wife yeah. walked in the room looking rich at Tiffany Haddish party. Like, you guys look great together. So you either take care of each other. I don't know what's going on, but she look great. She is. Yeah, she, she, yeah. Is there a certain yeah. amount of money that you should spend on your partner? A certain amount of money that like you should spend on your partner. Like when you're dating. Not like a what, your wife or whatever. I think everybody should act their wage. Um, and I think that you should do things that you want to do for that person. I don't think that you should spend on that person because you're trying to make them like you anymore. Or make you make them like you more or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I think so if you got you it, it then? what you mean? If you don't want them to like you, you want them to be happy. No, no, I said like you don't want them to like you. What did I say? You, <laughs> you don't want them to like, like you more. more. You know what I mean? For like that, you're not doing. Yeah, you're not yeah. doing it just because you right. think that's gonna make them like you more. You're well, doing it because you really want to do it for them. This yeah. happened to me the other day. I got to tell a story. I ain't gonna put the name of the person they want to blast because I mean. I put my name, my friend Rob Smith on blast on another show. Who's a hoe? But this one I'm not. Okay, so I come to New York. All the Dominicans out here know that I'm weak for Dominicans. Like it's literally my weakness. And okay. I always tell my team like there's gonna be two ways people are gonna you like rob. The, you like the gay Joe Button? Well, he, what do you mean? Love Dominicans. Oh shit! You caught me. I didn't know where we was going. <laughs> <laughs> what? Joe, you're, you're gay? Uh, <laughs> fuck. Like, low key, that's what I see. No, nah, so, the other, day, so the other day when I left your show, I went Please. on a date, right? So we on a date, we chilling, and they're like, yo, I just want to come back to the house. I'm like, all right, but I'm really trying to get to know you. Like, I don't want to ruin it because we go back to the house. I already know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to be a gentleman for the first time in my life, right? Oh, Finally, shit. we get back to the house. 
So my team is at the house. So my team is kind of walking around. So they're like, let's go in the room. I'm like, I don't want to go in the room because going in the room is personal. You know, plus you got to leave your phone out here and, you know, other issues. But so we go in the room. As soon as we get in the room, they go, yo, I'm going to Thailand for my birthday. There's this hotel I really want to stay at. You know, it's like $780 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking we just start hanging out like the other day. So, yeah, I, I do believe in tricking. But if you, like you just trying to get with me to get some money, like you got me fucked up. Yeah. yeah. But you got to know the difference, though. That's most of the Yeah. Y'all get yeah. tricked on, right? Yeah. Lulu, Lala? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. What? Of course, what was the question yeah. again? Y'all get tricked, tricked on, on, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, look at them. Of course, they're <laughs> oh, great. You guys look great. <laughs> thank you. You would be a fool thank not you. to get tricked on. What's the most y'all gotten? Actually, uh, like I've never taken it. I know that sounds like oh, oh my God. but I've been offered trips. <laughs> I know. You I should like have. I've been offered like trips to like Europe, like through baseball players and football players, and I'm just like nah. because something is expected, and I'm not gonna. I'm not that type of person. I'm not gonna go on a trip with a baseball player that I just because met, which is we're cool, but it's still that there's that awkwardness. Why am I gonna put like, myself in this situation? We need I'd to hang out. Avoid. Y'all got it fucked up. Yeah, because I think that, the, and I'm not saying that y'all are wrong. I'm just saying that when you're dealing with somebody like a baseball player. He's a multimillionaire, right? Yeah. That's just the way he moves. Right. That's just like saying, let's go to the movies. Right. So saying, like, let's go to the Caribbean or whatever, let's go yeah, to Europe. That's just like saying, let's go to the movies. Sometimes they're involved in so much drama with other women. I don't want to be hey, involved in that. Like, I'm like, tell you, like I, know, brother, I don't need don't drama. Don't go if y'all ain't trying to give nothing up. Don't go with that baseball. That's right. why. Like, there's been Hell lots no. of offers. <laughs> and I'm tempted, but I'm like, nah, nah I'm not going to do that. You got to tell them. You got to be like, look, you know, if I go with you, don't expect me to have sex with you. I hope that's not why you're asking me to go. That happened. I said that to one of them, and it was like, unfollow blah blah it wasn't wow. yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm yeah. like see but see every, see every man wants to believe there's a chance they can get it so you yes. gotta finesse in a way where he believes he's going to get it just don't say but no but you ain't saying he's gonna get it yeah. but his mind let him believe he's gonna get it my friend right here Sarah I'm gonna throw her under the bus she got out of a <laughs> seven year relationship or something like that and I said, you have to have a hoe face. Like, you have to be a hoe for one year. You got to yeah. just walk in the club with me and walk up to somebody and say, I want to fuck you tonight. Did you do that? No. She's uh, a prude. Uh, like, I'm like, <laughs> what? I guess I'm a prude, too, because I'm in the same boat. I'm on that same boat. Let me boat. tell you something. Y'all could finesse so major right now. Like, I'm going to teach y'all how to finesse. Please, By please the way, it don't, it don't take much for a, a guy to think he can have sex with a girl. High, right. high works. You know what Why? I'm Why do you guys think like that? Like I don't think she said, like I don't. Boom! I'm sleeping with her tonight. Yes, every guy thinks. Yeah, they can girl fuck. say, hey, don't even say text back in the in the DMs. Don't say thank you. <laughs> Nothing. If I, say, if I put if I put nice or hard eyes or whatever, if you say thank you, oh, she want to give me some. Why do you what, think, think like that, that though? I don't like, understand. What, 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 well, not now because you're in a relationship, so you <laughs> don't do that now, anymore, right? I would never right? do that now. Bullshit. Right. Yeah, right. Black men don't <laughs> cheat. <laughs> I forgot where I'm at. Black men don't cheat. Right. I've seen some, some women show me some of Wax DMs. Wax got some corny ass DMs he be sending, yo. <laughs> what did he be saying? He's the. He's the. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably the exact same thing. I how to talk to girls. I don't know how to talk to girls. You, you can't tell nobody you in town? He's that guy. What? But that's, that's Probation not, that's officer not, vibes. But that's not like... In places he's not even at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's not even there. But he's sending, but sending that's messages like, like that. Tell me something real. Like, tell me something funnier than that. That's not nothing. Listen, if you're not in Canada, but you're sending a girl in Canada, sending her a message talking about, you can't tell nobody you in town, you don't even live there. Who knows anything? So I have a question. All right, so let's say a girl answers back your DM, right? What is it that she has to say that, oh, this one's going to fall. I know I got her on the bag already like what are, are, are there key things like oh she replied to this that's my in well, what is it that I makes you guys think that okay i got anything her. Or she's gonna back to anything at all i think she want to give me some that is crazy or you recall yourself and twer DMs uh, twer got like, unlocked. Just, dms is just a <laughs> uh a fucking another thing like tinder it's just like a, a no it's app. not DMs it kind of is though app. instagram oh, is kind of like a like a tinder one of those Sits. yes no we're in 2020 that's Man, just the way people communicate Oh, okay. I have a question. Do you think that if you give your Instagram, it's like giving out your number? No. It's the safer way of... No. of uh, Absolutely. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. It's different yes, it for is. Charlemagne. You know Charlemagne's Instagram. But if you're if you're not Charlemagne and you be like, yo, I can't give you my number, but hit me up on Instagram. Same you thing. just did the same thing. All exactly. Yes. Do, 1,000%. Give, your, give your email then. Give your email that mean like, I danger. Hit my manager. But doesn't yeah. the context of I can't give you my number... Let you know that maybe this person isn't interested. He's kind of just throwing you the gram just to give it nah, to you. Nah, no that, way. That's, um, I, don't I got think a man, so. but I smash you. 
I'm not a man, but I'll smash you. No, I got a man, but I'll smash you. Yeah. Really? Like, that's right. what girls yeah. telling you. Like, I give you my Instagram, I got a man, but I'll smash you. But if I give you my number, it's like, I want to be in a relationship with you. Listen, I don't speak single, so. <laughs> well, I just came out of single, so I still know it a little bit. <laughs> you just came out of single? <laughs> just came out of single. Wax in love. Matter of fact, man. you know man. You, if you, you, you the gay so, wax. Wax loves Dominican women. Really? Yes. Listen, back in, uh -huh. I told him that when yeah, I was, did my show, I said, bro, you was me. Back in the day. Right, but I was confused about <laughs> what that means. Like, how far back? Kidding? Like, you gotta read my book because there's been different phases. And when people say you remind me of you, me, I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> now, wait, you, you suck dick too? What's happening? Ah! I don't know what's happening. Ah! The way you say you was moving, I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's the way I used to move. Yeah, no. But nah, there's nah, definitely no a lot of similarities between me and straight men. I'm a, an aggressive pursuer. You're still a man. Yeah, if I want yeah. something. Yeah, but some, you know, like some of the more daintier, you know, guys who just want to, like, skip through life and be caught. I ain't that guy. Like, I'm going out to fish. I'm on Tinder. I don't even meet nobody on Tinder. I'm just on there because it's fucking fun. Have yeah. you ever turned a straight uh, guy gay? What is a straight guy? I'm, I don't know what that means. Well, I think we need to get rid of that term. I think it's problematic. Yeah. That means gay people are crooked. Right. No. I mean, I could see what you said. A guy Curry. that likes women, have you ever, like, made them all my, all look the other way? All my guys love women. I think, I think every man should love women. I love women, too. I love them from a distance. They love them in a more personal, affectionate way. Yeah. Boy, I'm trying to tell you right now. Have you made a man that only likes vagina like the butthole? I mean, have I had a guy who says he only loves women say I was his first guy of many times, but I don't know that that was true. Yeah. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Hopefully I was, but if I wasn't, it doesn't matter to me. Now, could y'all be with a guy who is open with you about his love for other men? Uh, the thing is, I'm very selfish. So, and I'd like, I wouldn't, I don't think I could see myself ever having like a threesome with a guy or with another girl because, like, you're mine. I don't but like why, to share. Why, why do we do this whole possessive thing where mine is mine? Like, you both are twins. Y'all should be living, y'all should be yeah. up and down, like, you're coming home with us. You really want to love <laughs> what? I, I was a twin. Born on the No, but yeah. that's what it should like, be. The last thing I want to see is my sister naked. I but see her all the time. Wait, the last like, thing I want to see is how she is sexually. Like, I do not you ever want to know You guys look exactly them. the same. You already know the answer to those questions. <laughs> no. <laughs> and by the way, this is the first time I have not seen y'all dressed like in forever. Yeah. So don't yeah. act like y'all don't be sharing the same. Well, no, first of all, naked, we do not look the same. Maybe similar, but... Similar, but not the same. And I'm very, um, what's the word? Territorial. Like, if I'm with you, I'm like, Sound no like other bitch is going to be around. Are Nobody else. I'm Cuban. Cuban, Cuban okay, Salvadorian. So that's the Spanish thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Just very aggressive. Yeah. I appreciate when I see a good looking girl. I'm like, wow, she has a nice ass. Her boobs are amazing. I love her hair. But do I see myself ever being with a woman sexually? No. But you're in love right now? You're in a relationship now? Yes. So you're in love? Yes. And he loves you? Yes. And you would do anything yeah. to make him happy as your man? Happens. Yeah. Okay, so you're out. You see a girl. You say, yo, she has a nice ass. And he goes, she does. I doesn't, that doesn't make me mad because I'm the one that pointed it that out. That was I'm an like, invitation for you to say, baby, if you want to bring her home, cool. <laughs> but I really feel like the reason why, like, the the reason why there's so many fast. broken relationships in, in America is that we're so possessive. Like, you belong to me. No, what your phone belongs to you. Like, your bottle of water, it belongs to you. But, like, your partner, you should be like, yo, let's think a little bit more European. Let's but then why be in a relationship, <laughs> though? Then yeah. what's the point? Because you can build an empire off of being a really good partner and but being in a relationship is more than just possessing a person I think it's more than saying you belong to me no like our house belongs to us but as long as we don't fuck up our shit we should be able to like you know no your house does not belong to us because then all the other girls are gonna be wanting part of that house y'all talking about girls what if your man says he got a nice Jason's ass? coming home <laughs> <laughs> how do you react to that I don't know I guess it hasn't happened yet but I don't know. I guess wow. I don't know. Okay, cool. Yeah, he does have like that. I don't think your instincts would say you're jealous of another man. Yeah. No. Instincts would be say I'm jealous of another woman, but I don't think. Well, when I was in a relationship, like he had a best friend, and it bothered the shit out of me because it was like, yo, why are you a best guy friend? Yeah, like his best friend. So together? I'm like. Yeah, like he would give him more name, priority. Jason Lee? <laughs> no. Wasn't what, Jason Lee, what Jason but, Lee, like, but they was fucking. Like, because <laughs> you're a woman, you're, like, you're smarter than everybody in well, the room. Well, to me, that's my conclusion was like there there's got to be something going on yeah. that wow. he doesn't want to admit because wow. 
It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why are you so like eh, with this person? You were the other woman. You chapter were. six yeah, in my yo. book, I think, is called Love on the Lower, something like that. Boy, read that chapter. You're gonna go through your Rolodex and be like, that nigga was gay, that five. nigga was gay. Five, five, five chapter love five. On the low. Oh yeah. What is what, why you say why you love on the low? I mean, I read it, so I know it's Oh no, because I was like on the I was on the low. I had a girlfriend and he my I met this guy that I heard was gay, but he didn't know I was gay, so I met him and I lured him into a relationship. He was with a woman, and like we were in a down low relationship for like years. I like how you looked at Angelo's side eye when you said that. <laughs> oh, you gave him a little what? peek as you were saying that. Angelo's flight is already booked. We going to have <laughs> <laughs> Bring your camera, Angela. <laughs> Listen, Angela. Nah, you leave your camera. Upset? <laughs> your, your girl was upset about this? Okay. Is she? Well, she said, he said his girl likes me, so I'm, hey. Oh, so on the low, he telling you that his girl likes you, but no, he, didn't, no, he just you. was like, yo, my girl's a fan. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, let's all hang out. <laughs> this guy's so like I like meeting people that support me. You know, what I mean, I'm all about building the brand. <laughs> nice. How do you how do you finesse that though? Finesse what? If you know you want to fuck this girl's man, yeah. Yeah. You, you will much? still go out and eat with them and kick it well, I mean their man. relationship is for them to manage like I got Hollywood Unlocked to manage I got a show I got a book <laughs> like, I can't focus on that and I'm really respectful of their boundaries but like if they leave a loophole you know I, you know, I have no problem getting in that loophole being a little gay everybody's a little gay <laughs> what is what is that <laughs> was that your ringtone hell no oh I heard somebody I kind of told you how much of a, a gay magnet wax is really all yeah. my gay guys really? love him like I mean it's unbelievable <laughs> guys that don't like I mean we was in a, a club one night wax is just sitting there minding his business <laughs> dude walked up to wax to shake his hand mm -hmm. She took his hand and lifted it up and kissed it. No, they did not. A European yes. guy. No, right? they did not. Shit. Yeah, but you a big nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I push the boundaries, but like when it gets physical, nah, like you listen, get your ass up. I told him to like chill the fuck out. No, he did. That never happened. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Nothing. You said... You so wait, does it offend you when like gay men like try and approach you and just like? Chill out, I mean, I right, peace. I ain't got nothing to do. Look, just I'll don't say try to gay touch people do way too shit. fucking much. They do, y'all. Like, and then, and then cool we ones. get, and then we get mad. Yeah, there are some cool ones, but some then, cool but ones. then we get mad when y'all get mad. Like, you know, you got to be able to take what you get. Pause. And, and, and like, you know, I'm, I'm grateful cool. that you know, um, Angelo's not mad at me. You know, we peace. built a good rapport over the last mm. couple of days and we just gonna keep building no nah, i got a, i got a homeboy named terrence uh older white dude he saw wax in a white t-shirt lost his mind really yeah and he he um he said to wax he was like is that your brother i said yes he was like oh he looks i've never seen him in a t-shirt yeah. i said wax come here yo wax came over, yeah. <laughs> wax came over. Was, i said yo terrence thinks you hot <laughs> wax was like yo i'm just looking for a chase yeah. i'm just I'm looking, looking for a chase, for a chase bank, and, and terrence said I'll, I'll chase you anyway <laughs> see that's what he said i fuck with terrence yes. listen but you know what i heard i heard gay guys don't like ashy hands so i keep my hands ashy all the time really yeah what that, what that got to do with us i don't know what what does that, that mean they do is lying in <laughs> a gay dude telling you how to groom yourself. No, he said that I don't like. Oh, wax hands always ashy. He said, "Oh, I don't like him." I said, "Oh, perfect." So you purposely keep your hands ashy. Yeah. I mean, I personally don't like herpes. So, like, exactly. don't have herpes. Don't have an STD. <laughs> like, fuck ashy hands. Adam got lotion in his bag. Yeah, we'll figure that shit don't out. Don't you think people that go out of their way to prove they're not gay, something might be a little. Crooked. Those are the gay people. Yeah, if you think if, though? Yeah. Some, some people just you're are just, like... No, if you're homophobic, like, if okay, if you're homophobic, to me, that's a really clear... Like, Pastor Troy, I saw that I interview he did. That, yes. that motherfucker dressed like Big Bird, sitting up there talking about his gay son, but his son better not be gay, this and that. Probably the same motherfucker getting fucked by Oscar the Grouch. Then you sit around and you look like, <laughs> what the hell? Because gay people ain't even checking for you. But you so concerned about you so consumed with homophobia because something happened. Does it insult you when you hear uh, guys say that they act like gay men aren't men? Like a gay man won't beat your ass, or you know? What yeah, I, I do because you'll be surprised, and you know, uh, you just there's still men at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. We're still men, so yeah, I, I'm sururprised. There's so many stereotypes, and it's really predominantly in our all cur all cur our culture. You go to like uh, Europe. I don't know about that though. Yeah, because I saw that I saw the woman that voted for Mayor Pete in Iowa on Monday when she, for whatever reason she just found out he was gay after she voted. She's like, I want to take my vote back. 
<laughs> and that was a white old white woman from Iowa. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I think homophobia is just a thing. I don't think it's a black thing or a white thing or prevalent yeah. in one community. I just think it's a thing, especially because of religious con the religious context of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people love to go to that Bible and say, "Well, that's true." Yeah. I agree. So you know how you're always out and about mm-hmm. and you have making a lot of friends. Do you ever? How do you deal with the like the stage five clingers, like the the people that end what up catching that? feelings for you when you're just trying to have a good time? You're not really trying to get into anything. Uh, I don't really know that. I don't really focus on feelings, I guess. I don't know. Like You've never had, Christ. like, <laughs> someone that you, like, messed around with and then that they I'm end up, like, for? falling in love with. Yeah, but, I mean, there's different levels. Like, you fell in love with the trips or you fell in love with the pr- conversation. I don't know what they fall in love with, but we all have you a very... You don't fall in love with your dick? Well, I mean, yeah, there, yeah, there's that, too. But, I mean, if you got a girl... And then you got some situation over here. You're pretty much focused on your situation. I would think I would expect him to. Don't get focused on me. What do y'all do when y'all have stage five clingers? Well, I try to <laughs> avoid that from the start. How? By not giving them conversation or just cutting them cold turkey. I know it sounds bitchy and mean, but it's either that or deal with the drama or, or the stalking and whatnot. But don't the clingers come stalking. from like after y'all develop a relationship? Like say you might smash a guy. And then he's all into you, but you might be done with him, but he just can't let go. It's kind of annoying, if I'm going to be honest. I know that sounds bitchy, but it's kind of like, dude, get a clue. Like, what we had was cool, but that's what it was. And there's nothing going to be after that, so mm, keep it going. And sometimes they don't get that. that. And so it's like... You have to. No. And then that's why you, you have, have to, to be a, bitchy to them so they can get the, the hint. Because well, it's like when you going try through to a nice. breakup. It's like when you go through a breakup. You got to just shut it down. No, I'm not going to follow you on Instagram. I'm going to block you for a while because I see that you're still like, Damn. I can't. I get along with my exes, I, all, except for the one in the book. But all the other ones, I just had dinner the other night with two of my exes together. No, not that I'm saying. I, I, I don't cheat. I don't have any no, problems huh? with any of my what if exes. What they cheated? But at first... Right, well, I don't. What, I don't think my ex cheated. Oh, but, what I mean, it, but what I'm saying is, you're in a relationship. You get cheated on. You're still gonna well, be yeah, friends with that rules. person. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't steal. Like those are just three basic rules. That sound like life. You know. <laughs> yeah. And 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 I've had somebody lie, cheat, and steal all in the same month. But yeah. the other two, my other relationships, not. We all ended amicably. We're all still friends. We follow each other. We support each other. Like we're good. How do you know when to cut a guy off though? Well, you know when any relationships run its course. You know, for yeah. me, really? for me, when I right when I was gonna start Hollywood Unlocked. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go for this thing. And I need to know my relationship. Like my partner is like in it with me. And I and I said, if, if they're not in love with me, because I was in love, then I'm out. And he was really honest. And, and I said to him, are you in love with me? And he said, no. He said, I love you, but I'm not. Because he didn't, I don't think at the time, had the capacity to be in love with anybody. That was my signal to leave. How do single people know, though? Because it's like, if you were single, I feel like you would always want to have a rotation. Like, for me, mm-hmm. sadly, well, you know, before I got my life together, I was <laughs> always in a relationship. So I knew when to cut something off just because it couldn't go nowhere anyway. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, so how, when you're single, how do you know when to cut something off? I feel like you would always just keep that in rotation. I think it's always that gut feeling. Like, you know, okay, I've done, it's been all this years or months. It's not going anywhere. It has, it's not going to get any better. This is all that person has to offer or all I have to offer. Why keep wasting each other's time? Just cut it. Really? I think girls yeah. cut it off more because me, I just keep smashing you till you do something. <laughs> Or till you act crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she's cool. I keep her around. But if she ever act crazy or try to look through my phone or anything, she never do that type of stuff or fuck with my car, oh, you stay around forever. But see, Wax is the guy that makes girls crazy, though. So that's uh, not yeah, fair. I think, yeah, yeah that's- he, You mentioned something. The phone. Why are guys so sensitive when it comes to their phone? Because we got naked pictures in there. But you should have naked pictures of your girl. Anything else? No, you not send. your phone. Yeah, keep sending them because somebody else going to send I don't them. understand that. It's like, no, you can't look through my phone. I'm not trying to look well, through I your phone. Well, I have an easy explanation. I own a media company that has a lot of private information. Yeah, I don't care in there. now. You know, you can't look through my phone. But no, but I mean, I, I'm so transparent. I don't, I, but I'm not in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, in yeah, a committed yeah. relationship. I couldn't be in a situation where somebody says, I need the password to all your shit. Nah, that's ne- never that's if you're that insecure you need to go find another fucking person because I'm not that guy do you yeah. think if a person loves you they'll never lie to you mm. or do you think you lie to the people you really love damn that's a good question that is a good question I, th- I, I guess get paid white lies <laughs> <laughs> what's a white lie I think so. If you love someone and you and you lie to them, it's something like, oh, it's a surprise party, so you're gonna lie. So yeah. certain things like that. But to lie on, you know, bigger issues like, oh, I cheated or whatever else it may be, then then no, then you but should. But it depends be though, because what if you did a mistake? Like, oh fuck, you know, had too much to drink. I don't want to blame it on the alcohol, Yikes. but some shit. Sometimes Ouch. it happens. Yes. Do you tell them the truth because you know what is gonna, ha- you know what's gonna happen, or do you keep that, take it to the grave? 
That sounds like a woman. Yeah, you she's, might need to take that to the grave because why would you drink it around this guy anyway? Anyway. I'm, just, I'm not saying me. I'm just saying hypothetically. Yeah. <laughs> I used to think that if you love somebody, you lie to them because you don't want to hurt, hurt their feelings. Them. Yeah. Like yeah. all your girls that you don't care out, nothing though, about, you tell them worse. the truth. It's worse. How it's would they so ever hard, find out? But it's so hard the to lie. The truth always comes out. Somehow, someone. Yes, it does. Not if you don't tell it. It always comes out. It's so hard to lie, though. Like, I, like, when people tell me stuff, they be like, yo, I'm going to tell you something, but don't say nothing. I go, okay. (laughs) 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 But they think about who you're going to tell already. But but they know, like, they know right away that's a lie. Like, I'm going, because I can't, I just can't control myself. So I tell people, don't tell me a secret. People only say that to make themselves feel better. When somebody says to you, don't say anything to anybody, they really want to get that shit off their chest. chest. They want to share it. it Yeah. They just say that to make themselves feel better. Yeah, but I do feel like lying is so complicated because you have to remember everything you lied about. So yeah. I just feel like Fact. if you're honest, Sucks. you build a relationship on honesty. Like my last ex was so good about grounding me and holding me accountable and saying like, yo, you were rude to that person. Like you did too much or you, you, you know, you keep fighting and do this or, you know, real supportive. So the communication was really good. I never had somebody that was like an asshole. Well, I did, but not like in the last, what, seven, eight years. I, I don't mean, think you're yeah. capable of love, Jason. Just by reading your book, I think that you have to do the work on yourself and deal with some of that childhood trauma. I think you lacked a lot. You didn't get a lot of love when you were younger. Yeah. And so now you take it. I'm not going to say you take it out on people. You just, I don't know if you know how to love. Yeah, you know, we both have a mutual friend, Tiffany Haddish. That's my girl. Every time she gets off the phone, she goes, love you. And she blows a kiss. And I find myself like cutting off the phone before she does it. I don't know. I had to call her back the other day and I said, I love you. Me and Tiff do that every time we get on the phone. No, I love you. No, I know, but it's just, it's like, just like, I, it's a weird thing. And I and I do know it does come from, like, I haven't done the work yet. So I'm like, now I'm going through the process. I've got it all on paper. Now I have something to work with. But um, yeah, it's really uncomfortable. Now, if I'm with somebody that I'm in an intimate relationship with, I, I'm i very affectionate. I, I say I love you all the time. And I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. But just generally, like, it's really hard. The hell for y'all? No. Not for me. I say I love you to everybody. Because yeah. I truly, like, I love you guys. Yeah, but I mean, one I thing is saying I love you, but I don't wish thing is like, I'm in love with you. When the last time you've been in love? Huge different. Yeah. Huge yeah. different. When the last time you've been in love? <laughs> the last time I was in love <laughs> was maybe, well, I just ended my relationship. Um, so I'm pretty much in that phase where I'm like, this sh- shit sucks, but whatever, it's time to move on. You still love him? Yeah. Why'd y'all break up? How long were y'all together? Yeah. We oh. were together for three years, three and a half years. Wow. <laughs> Almost a whole year, a whole year of high school. No. Um, he, he cheated. Yeah. Okay. So what? Okay. No, I'm not gonna say so what. But yeah. <laughs> but I mean, no, yeah. But yeah. Give me context. Well, yeah. bigger and better I things. mean, it was a long distance relationship. He. Oh, the guy. Did you tell me? You to tell me about? Him? Well, you know about two. Okay. My first relationship Jesus. was like 13 years. Okay. okay. And then Damn. this second relationship was three and a half, and it was long distance. He really didn't like the business. I worked with a bunch of guys. He was very. Okay. Um, jealous, insecure. insecure. And so I always tried to make it to him like, I don't care about anybody else. It's all about you. Um, But it was always a constant battle. Like there was just a lot of, when we were together, it was good. When we were apart, it was like. Was the sex good? Amazing. It was amazing. So you still let him smash? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) It was amazing, amazing. Yeah, Yeah, but he didn't support you. Every time we had an event, he would make you feel bad about it somehow. But the thing is, I understood him because if the roles were reversed and he's got a bunch of bitches around him, I would feel a type of way. I don't think you would. Well, I would understand it better, but I could understand his point of view. You know, it's not easy being in this business. It just isn't. A lot of people can't take it. Majority of my friends are women. I have way more homegirls. The majority than I have of my guys. friends are men. Mm-hmm. It's all men. My wife don't be tripping because she know. I mean, she know them. Like we all cool. We <laughs> hang out together. We kick it. They like her more than me a lot of the time. That's how you're supposed to do like, it. Majority of my friends are men too. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. So <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. He's a good man. Yeah. I don't know if I was the woman for him. He cheated on you. Yeah, because we had taken a bird. Okay, wait, I have was, a question. Wait, he okay. was jealous of you. In your industry, and the whole time he was being a fuck boy, jealous. Yeah, he he don't know the whole time. But that's where it comes from. That's where that whole that. jealousy it's shit guilt. come from. It's guilt. He know what the dirt that he was doing. Right. So he was taking it out on you. One yeah. reason I don't cheat no more. It make my anxiety too bad. You know what I'm saying? And your sister made you break up with him. You wouldn't have broke up with him. She did that. <laughs> well, no, 
my sister. Well, Made you break up with her. My partner like crime so. Like, it, it would affect her. And so then uh, on our show, it would affect because her, her mind yeah, wasn't on it. She wasn't focused. Crying. She was sad mm-hmm. and depressed. And that pisses me off. Yeah. Like, don't fuck with my sister. There you go. Rihanna, you look so dumb right now. Comes on, you start <laughs> bursting into tears. And did you ever have a whole time where, like, you were being cheated on where you were like, damn, I could have been a hoe and it would have been all right? Right now, I'm, uh, I'm in the stage of anger where it's like, Fuck, I could have been doing something else. Mm-hmm. I could have been with somebody else. I, I wasted a lot of time, but... Mm. Oh, I would think Never like too that. late for a whole face. Right. Uh, I never had that whole face. You need to go out with him. Give yourself <laughs> one year, I'm telling you, and just be a hoe. Be, be safe, but just be a hoe. But you know what a hoe is? That's just not, having more than one penis a year. It's not like having a bunch of penises. That's not me, though. That's, more than that's, one that's one never a year? been me. More than one a year. Damn, is a I just do what makes you feel comfortable. Yeah. Like, like ho- hoeing is whatever you think is too much. If you go on a break... Uh-huh. Is the relationship over? No. It depends on what you guys establish. If a, a break means a break. Right. It doesn't mean the it's relationship not a break up. over. Like, we're going to take a break from each other. Right. But it all just means y'all just want to fuck somebody else. That's right? it. That's what that means. And after I fuck them, if it's good, I'm going to stay with them. If it's bad, I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's you just got to hope is. that this person don't come back with a baby, herpes, yes. yep. HIV. That's it. Oh, but that's yeah. the, when, when you say break, I can understand if you are just starting and you want to break because you really don't know what this person's all about and you don't know if you want to waste your time. But after three years, you want to break? If in three years you don't know the value that I that I could bring, like you don't know me or you you're not in love with me, then it's a bye. Problem. That's, that's a problem. not true. That's not true, Lala. I'm sorry. That's Lala, just the way I think. Sometimes you need a break from the relationship just to shit. breathe or whatever. That doesn't mean go fuck somebody else, though. You ain't breaking shit. It doesn't mean that. Mm. But nine times out of ten, that's probably what's gonna ten happen. Ten times out of ten, that's what's gonna happen. I'm not doing a break with nobody. No, we take a break. You it's out. Over. Bye. It's over. Thank you. That's yeah, the way I see it. You're unsure. I am too busy to be fucking figuring it out. Yeah, I'm I'm out. Me and my wife been together 22 years. We took a break one time. But you year. guys didn't. You guys start young, like you were like in like yeah, high school. High so that man. you guys were still yeah. growing up. You didn't even know where you were going in, in your careers and stuff. So that's understandable. But in your adult years, after three years, you want to take a break because you don't know. Boy, bye. I'm what do you call adult years? Time. What? What do you call adult years? Like when you're already past 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. older, if you you already know kind of what you want for your future. For a girl, a guy exactly. 30. Exactly, so... A guy 30, yeah, because they mature. Girl, 25. Yeah, because guys' prefrontal cortex doesn't even develop till 25. Yeah, so we start growing at 32. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 32, 33, 33. When we start thinking about settling 36, down. yeah. 38, 39 is when we really commit to settling down. Yeah, yeah, I'm 42. Yeah. I am not committed to settling this down crazy. right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not. Especially when Dykeman's right up the block. Nah. Wow. It's a little different for you, though, Jace, though, because you yeah. are you always probably been bagging dudes, but now you're getting hot out here in this business. It's hard now. It's, yeah. it's hard there. Yeah, you're getting that industry dick. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Well, nah. <laughs> I, don't fuck around, I don't fuck around in the industry. I, nah, not no more. Never? Mm-mm, no more. Okay. Nah. You fuck some celebs or two? I'm not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's no. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna say something. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, well y'all thirty, y'all thirty yet, right? We thirty, yeah. but no, we're a little older. Thirty-five, thirty-five. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all was wasting your time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, especially for women, like women, if you want to have kids, you There's can't be time. waiting yeah, till you're forty-five. Yeah, it's gonna can. be a lot yes, harder. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Stop it, man. Uh, see, the thing Stop is, it. Wait, I'm not listen. in a rush to have see, a kid. See, y'all be stressing yourselves off with, uh, over with this clock. First of all, you can get somebody to carry your baby for you. There's a woman who had a baby at fifty. I forgot oh yeah, that, that, that actress. That uh, yeah, yeah nah. but who's got the money yeah, y'all for that? Stop believing that shit. Surrogate. That's expensive. That lady did not have a baby at fifty. She did have a baby at fifty. She went away for nine months and Janet Jackson. I don't believe that either. No, Janet had a baby at fifty. I don't believe it. You think Janet, she tricked us? I, that, yes. Look at Janet so you money. think she was walking around with a baby bump? Yes. So was, Blue, was Beyonce <laughs> pregnant with Blue Ivy? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I don't know. Yes. When we saw Beyonce though. pregnant. No, no, whatever it folded. There, there was that whole controversy. I think she was pregnant, but yeah, I don't know. The internet. I think she was pregnant. I don't yeah. talk about the Carters. Okay. Yeah. I treat the Carters like they're Jewish. Hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. So y'all ready to have kids and all of that type of stuff? No, no, not at all. Not no. even close. Our, you know, family's like, oh, you're getting old. And all, you know, the whole Latin thing. And we're just like, I'm good. If I don't have a kid, I have my nieces. Yeah. Do, you, do you want kids? I would like to have at least one, but I'm not. Why don't you just volunteer, like at the Boys and Girls Club or something? Yeah. One of y'all gotta have it. If at the age of 40 I don't have a kid, I'm not having one. Mm. I'm just not. 
because yeah, one of y'all got to have a kid. Like one, one of I us think she'll to, have a kid. Yeah, know. one of y'all have a kid. It's like both of y'all kid anyway. If I have a kid, cool. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. Like I'm okay with that. Respect. Really? I, I'm not that type of woman that's like, oh my god, I'm 35, clock's ticking. I don't have a kid. I'm not married. No. Yeah, they out It'll happen when it happens. It'll happen when it happens. You never told us how your guy cheated on you. <laughs> I hate you, Charlemagne. I just want to know the details. I want to know how this happened. The girl you know. No, it was a complicated story. He was in a really bad accident last year. I spent all of 2019 flying back and forth trying to help him out. He was a dick to me the entire time. And uh, no, now you're going to start crying. Right. And then, wow. you know, afterwards, you know, at New, New Year's, actually, we were uh, <laughs> talking. And I told him, like, look, you were pretty messed up to me last year when I was helping you out. I need to give me like a month for me to get over the resentment I have towards you. And nine days later, he was already with a girl on, in, in the bed. Oh, because he been with her, though. Mm, yeah. It was his ex, actually. You called him? Ouch. Damn. How did you know he was in bed with her? Because I know. When your gut is telling you something, you'll find ways. That's something I got to give women. <laughs> That's when the gut is telling you something, but, you but will I, find ways. Can I tell you ways. something? When, was he, when he got his ex and was he on pills, he's on drugs. <laughs> There's no excuse for that. I'm just trying to help. That's a good point. Out, That's a very fair job. point, Wack No, I'm, like, no I'm serious. This guy's on drugs. He can't be That's in a right very state fair of point. Mind. No, you know what? Uh, honestly, he was in a lot of painkillers. He was on a lot of medications. Yeah, yes. So that shit thing, will drive you, you kind of nuts and it'll have you thinking crazy thoughts. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, Thank I'm, you. I'm just gonna I stop agree you. with her. That's a very fair point. That <laughs> whack giving that nigga no out. That, that, that nigga, that nigga, that he went, why he he that went back to, It's not like he <laughs> fell into some new pussy. He went back to his ex. Well, he claims that he didn't fuck her, that she was just on the bed. And I'm like, do you know how dumb you sound right now? How are you gonna tell me that you can do shit? The Give man was break. hurt yes, and on and pain bo- medication. He couldn't yes. move. Please don't entertain this bullshit. Yes, listen, bro, listen, real quick. What if he really didn't do nothing? Did you ever think of that? Why well, then bring her to your bed? Respect. You uh, weren't there. He probably needed something from the drugstore. Some water think for about, the pills. No, seriously, think about it. Who's the next person that he probably could call to bring him something? His he could mother, have his, his mother, sister. his father, his Postmates. sister. People busy. Exactly. 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 Fuck that. Maybe she just wanted to check on him. Thank you. No. I Thank wish you. him the very best. She probably was yeah. the East driver. Um, it is what it is. Whatever. Did he tell you that he cheated on you? I finally got him to admit, like, just fucking be... That's one thing I hate. Like, dude, I already know. Just man up, okay? And just tell me the truth. Just just tell me the truth. You owe me at least that. Now, that's the other problem. When you do commit to lying and cheating, you got to commit all the way. Like, you can't think, you know, they got you out caught. Yeah. I would deny that shit all the way if I, I was going to lie. I can't believe lie. men still fall for that shit. Just tell me the truth and everything will be okay. <laughs> Don't you think right. it will be easier to just say the fucking truth? Because now you're complicating everything so much more. Just say the truth. That's no, it. No, You've already easier. been caught. Cause what There's if the no tru- going back. What if the truth is I really didn't do anything, but you won't accept that because you have in your mind what you yes. think I did. Mm-hmm. So you won't accept that. Maybe I did not fuck this girl. But then you have to take ownership because... Why then did you lie from the beginning? Had you just been honest and be like, you know what? He needs some water for the pills. <laughs> this, 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 and, this, and, and this whole conversation, which has been exhausting, is the reason why I'm fucking single. Why? What, my only dilemma is what you doing tonight? What you doing this weekend? What are we doing next month? It's a lonely life, Jace. No, it's not. Yes, it I, is, no, I'm single, it, but man. I am not lonely. I'm not lonely by any measure. I wasn't. I wasn't lonely either, but I just wasn't. I don't know what the fuck I Well, you got a flashlight now, so you yeah. got, you know, Johnson, and then you, you got, got a flashlight. Doc Johnson looked me. I mean, I, I just did just try it and play around with it. It's not like my new girl. No, you need to listen to what girl. he said about how he's fucking this flashlight. I thought you kinda, got a girl. I do, so that's not cheating, is it? Nah. That's what I think. I don't yeah, think but like cheating. you're because like. If a girl uses her vibrator all the time, is she cheating on me? Yeah, but no. he's arguing with himself of whether or not he should come in the flashlight because coming in the no, flashlight would be that cheating. Shit, it's like he on some sick shit. You gotta hear no, this. I didn't. Bro. Listen, the flashlight is only for like practice because you're supposed to count your pumps. And not when I know when I do the flashlight, I'm doing around like six, seven hundred pumps. So I'm like, all right, work. I was running on the treadmill counting what two hundred and fifty pumps would be in a matter of you say what ten minutes. Yeah, if, like if I'm if I'm like if I did leg day, it's like twenty five <laughs> pumps a minute. If I ain't do leg day, it's like forty pumps a minute. So in 10 minutes, I did about, like, 400 pumps. I've never <laughs> counted a pump. And I bet you last longer if you do. Charlamagne, why do you look so confused? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is he talking about. <laughs> when you smashing. 
Like when we was on Bully and the Beast, I told you like you, you got to sit there and pound, count all your pumps. Yeah, I do count. I count thrusts. You do not so count. You no, count. You're not but counting. No, the, reason I count, the reason I count my thrusts is because it keeps me from coming fast. There you go. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard this shit in my <laughs> life. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm wondering what my boyfriend do does. Do oh, yeah, <laughs> does I, he count his pumps too? I don't know. He probably do his ABCs or something like that. No, for real. What do you think about ABCs? You hum your favorite song. I'm going to tell you what else keeps you from coming fast. Like if you got like the metal rod on the bed, just reach up and grab the rods. Just I'm serious. When your hand touches that cold steel, it just keeps you from coming fast. Like yeah. you just got to do something to yes. distract you from how beautiful your woman is, how good the pussy. You got to do something Dude, to distract get the you fuck from out that. your brain. So I just count, <laughs> and I'd be like. For the, especially oh the, the best thing to do is like fuck up on the counting. Yeah. You gotta start over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. so if you guys don't do what you're saying, what are you guys like two minute men? Is that what it is? I mean, you will be. I mean, two hundred fifty pumps. Can you do that in two minutes? That's y'all fault though. It's women's fault when we come fast. Oh, yeah. God. You gotta what? Listen. Oh, my God. You got to listen to instructions. Because number, so you're, you're, number one, you're beautiful. <laughs> you smell good. And the pussy is amazing. Like, it's yes. very hard not to come fast when you're yes. with a beautiful so woman. Selfish. That's <laughs> not you. selfish. Like but that's why the we're doing the counting. Right. We're doing that's the counting. Because we, count, we, count, we know it's selfish. Sounds like yes. a cop out. Like, you're so beautiful. I just came in like two minutes. Yes. Selfish. Yeah. Blame it on your beauty. You see how men always try to blame you for some shit? Don't. Just don't do something. Just don't moan too much if you like really Taylor moan a, a lot you're gonna definitely get this man to get out of here do what now moaning turns you guys oh, on oh yes, yes man shut yes, up man. it turns you off man. it oh. turns you on you know, yeah. yes if you if you moan too much I'm a nut <laughs> just shut up for a little bit do you know right? that like literally 90% of a man's sex life is spent trying to figure out how not to come fast yep Damn. like I'm talking about since we from the time <laughs> we started <laughs> fucking to now it's time not to come fast every time I every time I know about to smash a girl my first thing is yeah, I got a chance for come fast. I got to think of something before. So I got to smoke a blunt. I got to sit there and think about something bad. I just do the fall, but I'm a fall play king. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just got to make sure that she gets hers a couple of times before you, you, even you, start. you get in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then just do your 250 you pumps in 30 seconds. That's it. Because I'm at the point in my life where I'm happy. I'm I'm, I'm happy when I, you know, but how do you, 40 how, minutes How long you been married? Yeah, that's dope. 22 years. How do you keep sex fresh with just two people for 22 years? I mean, I, I mean, listen, we, we've we been together since we was kids. Yeah. So it's not like we the only people we've been with, you know? But as you get older, you start to realize that it's not just about the physical. It's about emotional and spiritual mm. and mental. Like, mm. those connections with the sex, totally different ballgame. Yeah. Y'all yeah. haven't got to that level yet because don't nobody love y'all. But when y'all get to that point, <laughs> when y'all get to that point where somebody really loves y'all and y'all are committed. It's a difference, to, man. Oh, my God. I blame Pornhub. For my, mine is just, I can't. Like, you can have, I can have sex with a different race at a different island i can have park sex i can have all kinds of sex I used to do that it's so crazy yeah. but you i have to stop watching more, Chase? well i have more you know when i need more when i have time for more yeah but yeah, yeah but nah. it's always nice to have that one person to Man. like you could really know you could count on on a deep personal level Making or even love. to share your like success yeah and stuff god like that. me and god that's who i <laughs> i share, share everything with god i'd be oh. but you know y'all never made love who? You. Yeah, like you never made oh, love. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I was in a relationship, of course. But okay. Making now I'm just moving, moving so slow. much like I'm literally here. I was, <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Just because y'all moving slow don't mean that's making love. That's okay. slowing down. <laughs> you know, like I'm I'm just in the pursuit of something with my business. Like that's, I'm really just in love with that. Like I think, you know, I'm 42 now. Should I have a kid? Everybody keeps saying, oh, you need to have a kid for your legacy. My book is my legacy. My brand is my legacy. Like what I do is my legacy. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm not going to be, at least right now, a good parent. I just don't have the time. Now, I know if I had a kid, I'd be like, where's my kid at? All day long, that's all I would ask. Where's my kid? Where's my kid? I just don't have it in me right now. Y'all never made love, Lulu and Lala? Yet? I have. Of course yeah, I have. Somebody yeah. lying, same I have. time. Uh, a thousand times. Yeah. I have, but now I haven't. And so that's... Yeah, uh, Pornhub, like he said. Yeah, really? but you can, you can get a man. I mean, Does he still contact you, at least? Yeah. He's assistant not around. <laughs> But the crazy part is you keep answering the phone. Can Santa, you please block that some nigga? Fuck him. Center? I will put his name out right now. Give me his his, his photo. I'll put on Hollywood on lock right now. Do that, I, they I, still listen, might end up together. Should, yeah, no, exactly. No, no, no. They still might end up there. I'm serious. Yeah, listen, that's I, I heard you, yeah. he did, is that the only thing he did? Did he ever put his hands on you or make you threaten you or something? No, no. You know, Javante Davis, you. No, Damn. that Jacked would you be up. like. All right, so so that one no. mess up for three years. <laughs> I mean, okay, it was the break thing he said. The break thing kind of messed it up. Well, it was just a, a lot of things. Just everything. That was like pretty much la tapa al pomo. 
What? Huh? Like, the, the finishing touch. The, the, yeah, the thing. Like, you, know. you should learn to be more forgiving. I mean, think about it. Ludacris went on a break, had a baby. Him and his wife ended mm -hmm. up together. Gabrielle, Wayne Wade. Yeah, yeah. Swiss Gabrielle Beats went on a break and got married to well, Alicia Keys. I don't know what you think about that. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, like, break yeah. some yeah. time breaks me. You got to move the fuck on. Yeah, if, if they can survive break babies, you can survive just him, you know, being high we on pills. Yeah. And somebody taking life, advantage I'm of him. I'm like, Jason, right now I'm focused on my baby is my career. And that's about it. But that's... you could be a hoe on the side. You got to no, give yourself a no year. Holes. Man, I'm telling you, you, boss up and you really like step into these dudes, like take control of that shit. They'll all be all over you. Call that baseball player, man. Let's go to Peru. Let's fucking go hiking in For Peru. Real, yo. Because I need to talk to you about this shit ass nigga. That man will shower you with everything you need. When you come back, just be like, yo, I'm not ready yet. He'll keep giving it to you. What about you, Lala? What about me? Are you are you going to be committed to somebody? I am committed to somebody. My boyfriend. Going... How long y'all been together? I've known him for two years, but we made it official like about nine months ago. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You love him? Yes, I do. Is he from New York? No, he's from Miami. It's long distance. Why are y'all doing that? But he travels a lot, and he I like that he understands the business that I work in. He's not jealous. Mm -hmm. I'm not jealous. Like you, he has a lot of female friends, but mm -hmm. he like I'm okay with all of them. They're all mm -hmm. mad cool. I have a lot of guy friends. He's not like he doesn't have and a problem with that. You like and him? he actually yeah. supports me and like pushes me to like do more and like go bigger, go harder, He's go bigger. He's the opposite of my ex. Yeah. He's a man. Listen, I saw you make a face when I said the Javante Davis thing. I love Tank. Yeah, Tank's cool. Tank gets busy in the ring. Do you think he was out of line? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I called uh, Floyd's baby mama. Melissa. I was like, yo, what happened? It was, she was like, it just happened so fast. He just came and snatched her up. I, I don't, I mean, they're like, that's his mother of his child, but that's not his girl. I don't Even if it was that. his girl, you, that, no, it was his you can't let a woman get you to that point. Nah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To where you're putting that's hands wrong. on her. Because mm -hmm. if you do that in public, everybody's mind automatically goes to, imagine what he does behind mm -hmm. the clothes. And that's, that's, that's exactly what they said, that. too. And yeah. next thing you know, yeah. you're fucking up your money because now no, nobody wants to do endorsement that's deals with you. And then, yeah. God forbid, you get a charge, but you ended up getting a charge with domestic violence. So it's just like, you don't want that on your record. Yeah. I, that's gonna follow him forever. Have you ever had a guy jack you up? No. Oh well, no, no, no that, that, that would never. You know what? I would never allow that. <laughs> and yeah. I think if it was between forgiving someone that put his hands on me or someone that cheated on me, I would. I'll take I'll the cheating any day. He but, didn't not put hands. I mean, that's still putting hands. Yeah. He didn't hit her. He just grabbed her like by the. No but that was putting hands. He put hands on. And you're yeah, but, he, that motherfucker's strong. Yeah, like, he yeah, killed yeah, somebody. Yeah. I mean, one good punch. Oh. But the but the way she reacted showed me like that wasn't the first time that happened. Oh no, she did. She reacted she, like a child who knew yes, that they had gotten caught go. doing yeah. something wrong. And she wrong. came back when it was over and sat down. <laughs> really? There's no. She was really embarrassed. From what I heard, she was really embarrassed. I couldn't even. How could you even come back around? You know, and no, no disrespect to white folks, but all of them white folks was like, "Look at that shit." It was just too. It was too. I don't know. She came back and was embarrassed, and but the fact that she came back and sat down and finished watching the game. Taylor hates her, right? And Taylor hates her because um, he took her on a shopping spree. Wait, what? Ta ta <laughs> Taylor? Yeah, Taylor right there. Hates who? You said you, you didn't like his baby mama? You didn't like him buying stuff for his baby mama? Gervonta Davis? When did I say that? Oh. I he, he, he had a whole topic about it on the radio, yes. <laughs> Okay, so what I ain't asked you to come on the mic. I just said you don't. No, because I need to explain my part. Take that. Okay. Take that. You know, in matter of fact, I haven't used this in a while. Is she the one that wanted to sleep with Serge Ibaka? Or that was funny. No, that well, was you Sims. Did. We haven't done this in a while. Oh my god. Um. All right. First of all, I what? Can you explain what happened though? Because now what? I don't remember. I remember. Devontae Davis it. took his baby mama on a shopping spree. No, that's not what it was. Yes, it was. Was and it? we had the conversation: Is that okay for a baby daddy to take his baby mama on a shopping spree? Because he got a whole other girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I said it wasn't, hmm. I didn't think it was necessary. I agree. And I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't say that it was, I hated her. Stop putting words in my mouth. <laughs> I said I heard, that I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was necessary. You have a whole nother girl. You don't need to like, At all. It's, it's okay to like respect your baby mom, but all that gifts for a birthday. That's the like, mother of your child. So, so what? Well, not, so? not only that, he's a public person. And when you have a baby with somebody who's a public person, you got to make sure they have security. You got to make sure that they can fly comfortable. Yes. You got to make sure that they're taken care of. You cannot. They are, though. No, so you, why do you have to cherish her with all those How do you know how she's taken care of? If she's a good one, if she's a good baby mama, please yes. take care of her. That's shower fine. her with gifts. But you shower don't need to. No, you don't no. need to shower her. If the mother her. of your child is happy, your child will be happy. Yes. So, so she can be happy with a like happy birthday, a car. No. So Floyd's baby mama, Melissa, drives a ghost or uh, whatever car of the week that she wants. She lives in a big ass house. She's dressed well. She flies, whatever. But 
you know, she's not going after him for child support. He's taking very good care of her and mm-hmm. his daughter. So wouldn't you want to have a relationship where we don't have to go to the courthouse and fight That's over important. you That's get right. 25000 yeah, a month? Yeah, but then there has to be a level of respect for the new girl that you're dating. <laughs> like, if you're showering her with more gifts than the one that you're with, there's a huge problem no, I, I, there. I, I don't know. And I, on top of that, she that's it. It's over. So yes. the only time that he should be showering is the is the baby. Day. Maybe that's Mother's delicious. Day is the baby, and that's it. I doubt mean, it's the case that he's treating the baby mama better than his new girl. Yeah, but yeah, the new girl is the one that got to learn the rules. I was yes. just, uh, Not the baby mama. Not Man, I was no just way. about to say, this and is the problem with y'all. With the y'all be getting in situations and wanting the man to change and give up everything for you because he's yours. Stop that. Word. It's okay. As long as he can take care of you the way that you need to be taken care of and still uh-huh. keep his daughter or child's household intact with his mom, uh, why not? That hits close home to me because I had to deal with that shit and I didn't like it. It was just complete disrespect. You have There's to deal no with? need at all uh, a, for uh, you to, uh, you know, give her the... Like, it just, I just, I can't, do, explain, I will never teach. Ex- explain, Lulu, what happened? He, so my ex has a baby mama. Okay. And she was always, like, very in the way. Like, always blowing up the phone, wanting to know everything. Like, why? That's his baby mama. That's I don't give a fuck if that's the baby mama. But it's over. So your only priority is your kid, and that's it. As long as he's good, and you take care of him, and you're a great father, okay. You have no responsibilities at all. For the baby mama. That's not true. The bitch got another dude. So, so, so why why I, do you have to be all up in her life though? Like, can I can I try something? Okay, so in the book, my mother my father was married to his wife. He's still married to his wife for forty five years. They've been married. He had seven kids out of his marriage with five different women. Okay, so with that idea. That's probably the reason why my father was never around because his wife didn't. You, know, you had that kid, but you're not about to go over there and build no home with them. That's fucked up. And because of that, all of us got daddy issues. But that's not what we're saying. We're not that's saying totally that. different. Okay, we're not but for him that. to be in the kid's life, he has to have a respectable relationship with the baby mom. Yes. yes. One thing is you have being to provide respect- for that house, so that's still no, that's you a house. Re- you have to you respect for the that. baby, for the child, like not for her niece. I can't wait till y'all become baby mamas. I can't. Sorry, no, my no dad, right? Forget, so we have a half brother, and my mom, the my dad's uh, ex or whatever, she was respectful. She never got in the way. But my dad has a great relationship with her. So does my mom. It was done respectfully. You know, my dad didn't have to go and buy her anything. He provided for my brother. I don't even call him a half brother because he's my brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But. She wasn't blowing up the phone. My dad wasn't if, taking if her on vacation. If she had a flat tire, you know, it's not my dad's responsibility. Go call up the new guy that you're with or call up a Triple brother a. or something. Or whatever. That's, that's, that's a question, too. Does he, does he have a uh, boyfriend? Who? The does he have a boyfriend? Uh, I don't know. And see, that's it, too. You'll be okay if... Yes, let make that make sure that nigga get us something. <laughs> but, but I said, what yes, <laughs> make sure he get us something, please. Something he's not okay, he's not giving yes. you shit. All right, well, we gotta figure that you out. You don't know that we're gonna share stuff. Yep, or we taking the stuff back, keep the tags. What on kind it. of car you want, baby? What kind of car we getting? What kind of car Javante buying us? Yes. Mm-hmm. Sorry. First Absolutely. Time, my, my man, that's in, why are you not buying this for me? But why, why do you? But why do you care? If you're already getting yours. Why do you care? Because like, like I guess people look at it like no, yeah, no, no, no. but that's the that's the problem, and that's why everybody's single but me. Well, you're I mean I mean I'm mean, not you know having broken relationship issues. Like you're married, you guys figured it out. I ain't got time for that. This is too it's too you don't much. Think it's unnecessary at all. No, I think that I mean because I see it. I've actually I have friends who are actually in those situations. I think they take very good care of their families and their baby mom and their kids and all that, but then they also take care of the people that they're with. I'm not saying not, not to take yeah, care of them, but there's a fine line that you don't cross. Not when it comes to the mother of your child. Because that's really the mother of your child. That's the carekeeper, the CEO of yeah. your child's life. You, you have to make sure she's good. Sure you want her to be care. good mentally, emotionally, sexually too. You, you should be able to hit the baby mama off once nah, in a while. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm just playing. But oh, you, that, okay, then be that, but I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be I'm not. Why does the gift have to be... I'm sorry. I'm just saying she waiting for the white picket fence. I don't know. I don't I understand why white picket you're, we're just talking about one thing. He gave her mad shit for his ber- her birthday. Not necessary. You could so give her who? a gift, a nice little like, dinner. That's not doing like making sure she's good. Like that's not making sure she's good. So if a guy showers you with gifts, is that necessary? See, you trying to twist it no, around? I'm just asking the question. I'm not a baby mom. It don't or matter if, like if any guy decides he want to shower you with gifts just because whether he likes you or he's just showing his that's appreciation. Fine, is that but necessary? In that particular situation, that's not what it no, is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's the yeah. mother of his child. She earned that. Whether she's getting it in child support every month or he's deciding to take her on a shopping spree, anyway. she earned that. 
What's the problem? Keep her happy, please. No, there's a level of respect. <laughs> there's a level of respect. She get ugly. I'm then all just about be with her then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just be with her. her. Okay, y'all need to stop. It is no, not it, it ain't that easy. No, it's, but think about it too, because the baby mom could easily just twitch around like, oh well, he got me this stuff too. He might be still likes me and loves me, all this other oh, stuff. That's and then she's gonna have a new man, and that new man is gonna be living off the you're the old. It's just too complicated. It don't matter if you if you Javante Davis and you paying ten thousand dollars in child support to see your baby mama. If she got a man, he got he got. Yeah. That too. Yeah. It don't matter. Pendejo el entonces. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? That whole ain't what? <laughs> so then, then he's, a dumb, he's a dumbass. Then he's also paying. Not only is he paying for the girl that he's with, the baby mama and the baby mama boyfriend. How stupid are you? Well, if the baby yeah. mama's happy, y'all are going to have a lot of peace in your relationship yeah. too. Like, could you imagine? What's the opposite? He's now going to court every month with yep. the baby mm-hmm. mama, getting drug over, Mad publicly money. shamed. Can't you ain't shit. Kids. Now she's fucking off his brand. Now he can't get money to take you where mm-hmm. you want to go. Now you don't like that either. You got to pick a side. You want the drama or you want peace? Peace. But he's also selling a whole thing. So she's going to expect that every year for a birth. Like, I don't know. So what? He's rich. He can yes, fight say, like, I'm young. saying. You're putting yeah. a, a He ain't perception. even got his big payday yet. He's putting a perception in her in her mind, though. I feel so? like. But somehow, yeah. she really yeah. but somehow you you all are translating it like th- that's taking something from you. Because that's going to c- cause me out of peace. Like I'm like, well, why are you like? But that's uh, that's your fault. And by the way, if we being honest, you're just a girlfriend. Yeah. If you if you you're looking at the scale, totally Damn. baby mamas, Damn. take precedent over the girlfriend all day. Oh, where so your baby mom does? I'm not, I got a whole, totally different situation. But no, wait, 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 wait. And I, and I well, say, no, no, no. Wait, when, you're, when you're the girlfriend, you're not thinking like, at least for me, I'm thinking, all right, this is going to lead somewhere else. I'm not thinking it's not going to, it's just, you know, another two months and this, this shit is going to be done. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm not yeah. thinking it like that. And I and listen, I, you got, I said a good baby mama. Good baby mama take care of her before she puts you on child support and deal with what I'm doing with her. You got to think most guys, this shit. Are, most guys that got baby mamas, they're keeping everything kosher with the baby mama so they can have a great relationship with the kids. Yes. So if the new girlfriend puts me in a situation where I got to choose either, oh, you're really asking me to choose between my my child you and you. You're a kid. Not really the baby mama and you. And this is why I'm a good side nigga because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking up your shit. Okay, the baby need some milk cool your girl need books for whatever she do it cool whatever like I'm gonna help y'all out do that. if you could do that if you know how to I'm take cool. care and give, help give a present yeah. I'll here keep you forever forever you ain't never going nowhere and this why y'all losing out to us because you so busy dealing with that <laughs> bullshit we over here like what's up Damn. Damn, it's real. So gay men have learned how to be better sides than goddamn women. Flights at 7.30. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Angelo, come with me to L.A. for one day. <laughs> Take some Angelo, pictures. come here, man. Take some pictures, man. Come here. Yo, he said, my, he said twerk got unlocked. What? Unlocked. Come here. Share, share, share the mic with Jason. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? How much on a scale of... Um, one little Nas X. How gay are you? I'm a one. I don't believe. So he says it's chance. Well, I only need one. That's it. See? That's all you need. It's a chance. It's a chance. It's a chance. You ever thought about it? No. I don't believe that. For real? Yeah. I'm just a friendly person. I'm not gay though. Okay. All right. What do you think, Jace? Uh, you know, I'm not really into like outing people. Everybody should be whatever they want to be. <laughs> but I just feel like people should just like hang out and vibe, catch a good vibe. Once you catch yeah. a vibe, all that gay straight shit just go right out the window. You be like, damn, I have vibe fling for my dick. Home, one of my homeboys said, "Man, you so cool, bro." I said, "See, that's how it start. You let your guard down." <laughs> Man, you keep your cool. guard up, man. I'll keep my guard up. I'm man. trying to be friendly, man. You you I, will, cool? I will get you get some. Cool. Hold on. I will get you. Mad cool. You mad cool. Listen, listen. Okay. Wait, first thing. Watch this. Do you smoke weed? Yeah. I got a weed man that pulls up anywhere. <laughs> Number two. You a sneaker guy? Nah. Okay, well, fuck that. What else? Okay, wait, wait. You like pussy, though? Oh, I got some badass girls. Like I got my, a girl, man. Yeah, but that's okay. That's that's home base. He likes cameras, Jason. <laughs> Speak to his heart. We got cameras. cameras. We got cameras. Like <laughs> you like Wait, they got cameras at Love and Hip Hop. Next season on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> <laughs> you hold the camera, I'll tell the story. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. He cool. He, he a good guy. All right, Angela, bye. Thank you. I still got to get your number for Do y'all think Jay-Z and B... You think everybody uh, blew it out of proportion that Jay-Z and Beyonce didn't stand for the Yo, answer? you went to Rock Nation. See, Rock Nation, they fuck with me. We get money on the side, but they'll never let me in the room because I got to ask, like, how do you create a partnership with the NFL and support cap? 
which I think you asked the question when you were there, right? Because mm-hmm. people were trying to understand this. Then go to the Super Bowl because you managed Demi Lovato and you, you managed Shakira. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you but then the you sat show. during the show. Like, it's such a conflict because it's not like the money they get from the partnership is going to Cap's foundation. That'd be great. I think it's sending a mixed message. I'm confused. Do you believe what he said, though? That he was so focused on, like... Hell what Demi nah. was doing. Jay-Z and- is smart as fuck. No, there's no way you come out of Marcy and get to where you are and not be smart. You know what you're doing. Here's you're the, the biggest star in the world sitting there during a halftime show, of course. Did, did you see the video? The- yes. We it was the video. mad people sitting in that section. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just Jay and Beyonce. It was white people sitting in the section. People weren't standing. That whole headline of, oh, they, were st- they didn't stand for the anthem. They were protesting. Where did that come from? That's like Rick Fox dying. Like somebody made that shit up. Like that shit came out of nowhere. Yeah, but you they matter. Like they matter more than all those other people sitting down. Like when you see Beyonce, I went to Puff's house. I was standing outside for the Grammy party. Everybody was coming. There was tons of people outside, but you only saw Beyonce walk through hundreds of people. But that's, so that's our fault then. Because yeah, we're not well, really yeah. we're not really focused on what they were doing. We're focused on who they are. Because there was mad other people in that section sitting down and nobody had a problem with them not standing for the But it's because what he just said because they are the biggest stars right now in the world. Like so it's, it's Jay-Z the, it's and Beyonce. It's so, Queen B. So obviously all eyes are on what are they going to so do. So America needs to stop being so focused on celebrity. I agree. Because when situations like this happen I don't look at the celebrity. I look at the actual issue. The issue is you're mad that these people didn't stand up for the national yeah. anthem. So what about everybody else in the section? But Beyonce has come out recently and said that she's now doing music that's more important to her legacy and the culture and for black people. Like, she's really on her black shit. And we we love it, right? She showed that in her performance at the halftime show. You had to sit in the bleachers to hear the sound. Usually the sound guys are on the stage. I, I don't know that you need to sit in the bleachers to sit down and precisely focus on whether or not Demi Lovato sound, sounds right. I just think the whole thing is kind of contradictory. I didn't really understand like the partnership with the NFL when they side with Cap, but the money is not going to Cap's foundation. It would well, make it would send a really piercing message, I think, if they donated the money to Cap's well, foundation. Well, the money's going to a bunch of different foundations. Yeah. That's what the whole Inspire Change thing is. Inspire Change is a, is a foundation that they allocate money from the NFL to a bunch of different organizations. But where's the money that Jay Z and Rock Nation's getting going to? What you mean? Like so? If well, you, well, you got to pay me for my partnership. Right. So what but what you do with the money you're paid can send a message like I'm partnered with the NFL. I took the money and I gave it to Cap. That would be like, wow. I mean, would Cap take it? Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I just, don't, I, I just don't like I don't like when people say things like, um, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce are trying to co-opt Kaepernick's movement. Let's be clear. Protesting police brutality is was not Kaepernick's movement. Mm-hmm. Like he, he wasn't the first person yeah. to protest police brutality. So how do you co-op social justice? But that's our fault. The same thing with everybody saying that Sean King is some messiah for the Black uh, Lives Matter movement when he posted the shit about Kobe after Kobe died. Like who the fuck made Sean King? I don't know if that was real. Well, it was on his Facebook. I went to his Facebook. I, I went there too. I didn't see it. I saw it. Yeah. You know, I took it and I posted it. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Yeah, I don't understand that. Like, I think people, I think it goes back to us putting so much stock in this is the voice of black people. Like, mm-hmm. no, nah, ain't no voice. Like, I look at you, The Breakfast Club. That's the only show I really pay attention to when it comes to stuff because I feel like you guys are fair. You're going to ask our questions, but you're also going to dig into what the people want to know. Everybody else, I feel like they trying to do what you do or they trying to do what Wendy does. Wendy, she's just reckless. She don't give a fuck. She's going to say whatever she wants. Wendy wanted. said, y'all motherfuckers need to be standing up. If you don't love America, get the fuck out of here. Like, what the fuck? That was a lot. <laughs> Jesus I was, right. the, I was in the back like, you got Ivy Park, <laughs> you got Ivy Park on too. Wow. What Ivy Park on? Yeah. Because let's be clear, the national anthem is racist. It's, it always has been. That's yeah. what it was that, written by racists. It's a third verse. That's all yeah. about slavery. It's like so. I mean, so if I see any black person saying that, I would not give no. a fuck. I honestly any don't think that person. they did it on purpose, or that I honestly think they didn't even notice they that they probably were you no know, focused on how Demi's sound was looking. And uh, Beyonce I has agree. done Super Bowl, so she knows what the deal. I don't think they were trying to be disrespectful or anything. I but I also think that, that people think that have become so sensitive for everything. Everything. Yeah. It's yeah. so yeah. annoying. But they they knew they knew the national anthem was uh, they they not. Exactly. You know that the national anthem is going to play. It's one of the biggest events besides the game and the halftime. And and you know everybody's filming you. You're Beyonce. Or you're standing next to Beyonce. I wouldn't care. They black people, they don't want to stand up before that. Think about how that works. But it's because because it's such a big event and everybody knows how big Beyonce and Jay-Z are. Do you think they purposely sat down so that they could get the backlash the day after? I don't don't think think they were thinking about it. Think about it. When we're at these places, right? Charlamagne, you know Beyonce is always on. 
I don't think she was paying that shit no attention. When you when when the, when the anthem happens, if if people don't stand up around you, then you'll stand up. Even if it's a standing ovation, you'll stand up when everybody else is standing. If you're sitting in a section with nobody standing up, you cool. Charlamagne, I went to the Super. You been to the Super Bowl? No. Okay. My Cowboys Super Bowl, haven't been. Super so Bowl. Yeah, Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah. I've been to football That's games, that. but the Super Bowl, you're like. Every single seat is filled. Every single seat has like a shirt or something that mm-hmm. there's like a uniform color. When they come out, ev- the whole place, it's like the craziest thing where everybody stands up. You know to stand up or not stand up. They knew what the fuck they well, was doing. Well, not in that section. If you go back and watch that video, nobody in that section was standing up. Like one person. I think Jay Z's like Oprah. I think he's reached a place where black people are just going to accept whatever they do. No, Oprah. Not Oprah's dead. starting to catch it now. Yeah, Oprah, 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 it's starting to crack <laughs> because now you got social media and the power of social media. Shit can move across the world really I fast. I was just honestly yeah. kind of annoyed that we were even talking about Beyonce and Jay Z when the halftime show was about. Shakira and Jennifer Lopez. Like, Beyonce, <laughs> honey, you got your moment. You had a whole Super Bowl. Uh, 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 this is about the, the Latinas. By the way, Two women rocking out, it was the best. shaking it was their not the asses, best. It was doing the their thing. It and we're talking that. about Jay-Z and Beyonce yeah. not standing for the national anthem. You're right. Lulu, was, you're right. I was I was mad at that. I'm yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah. like you had your moment. Yeah. It's not about you. It's about Jennifer Lopez and Shakira but, doing something that's never happened. But that's before. not Beyonce's fault. Though. That's not, not Beyonce's yeah, fault. Yeah, that's no. the people's fault. I'm not saying it's yeah. Beyonce's yeah. fault. It just annoyed me that I'm like, I can't believe we're taking away from these two women because of what you know Beyonce and Jay Z did. Well, and credit, credit to Beyonce, the <laughs> woman Kim Burst behind J Lo and Shakira's performance was. Once Beyonce's person. So she did kind of help her. But yeah, I agree with you. It was a great performance. Uh, I loved it. Wasn't the greatest halftime show of all time. Like some people from the Latino community. Are but it was close. Say. It was close. I it was say really it was good. one of the, I'm not saying it was the best. Michael Jackson to me was Bruno, Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson and Prince for me. Well, Beyonce's Beyonce first one. was. Beyonce, 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 Beyonce was, Beyonce was amazing. Too. Beyonce's probably. Well, they also yeah. tried to dig Whitney Houston out the grave and give it to Demi Lovato. I don't think she beat Whitney. Do you? Not at all. Yeah. Not even close. I didn't even hear it. Yeah. yeah they were comparing. <laughs> they were comparing. You know what I don't like about Demi Lovato? When Demi, we were at Jamie Foxx's house one day and Demi was walking through the party. She really wanted a picture with Floyd Mayweather. So I, she, her person says, hey, Demi really wants a picture with Floyd Mayweather. I said, okay, hold on. Hey, Floyd, uh, Demi wants to get a photo with you. And he was like, who's that? And I said, it's Demi Lovato. And he was like, okay, I'm not, not really familiar with you. And so she's like, I'm a singer. And I'm like, yo, she's big on Instagram. I pull it up. I show all this, whatever. So she goes, uh, so so they, they meet, they take their photo, they walk away. And her people go, hey, yo, can you help us get Demi to sing the national anthem at the Conor McGregor fight? I'm like, yo, that's a big ask. But if I get that, I need Demi to partner with Hollywood Unlocked to put out this limited edition merch. And then we'll partner and we'll make all this. But this is how it was, just mm-hmm. thinking, whatever. So I go to Floyd and I'm like, yo, I got the perfect idea for this Conor McGregor fight. Demi Lovato could sing the national anthem. She's this much of followers on Instagram. She's going to bring in this audience. She's going to this and that. And she sings the national anthem. And afterwards, they at the McGregor s- fight? At the McGregor fight. And afterwards, wow. they mm-hmm. sun me on the deal. Like no. I, yeah, like what? I've never told that story, but I kind of feel like when she was up there saying, I put that shit on mute. I didn't want to hear that shit because I already heard that shit. And I lost money when I heard the shit the first time. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Rock Nation, they they move, you know, they interesting. Oh, so that was Rock Nation you were dealing with? The management, yeah. Really? They couldn't get Demi to sing it? Uh, Demi doesn't really do that, but that was great that she performed at the at the uh, event. Yeah, they say Jay got her to do that personally. No, I'm talking about the McGregor one. Oh, the McGregor joint. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Got you, got you, got you. So, so did that really mean something to the Latino community? Yes, it did. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk 100%. to me why. Huge. Because you you don't really see it out there. First of all, there isn't, in the past, there hasn't been diversity. You Jason's know? Dominican too, by the way. I'm not. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> and so to see, you know, Shakira and Jennifer Lopez, well, Shakira mostly, she was singing in Spanish. You know, there was a little Spanglish in there. It's kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe we finally got... We're in general market. People are seeing us. You and know? not to crazy. mention, well, the mics J-Lo's were, 50, the mics were off. So Shakira's let's say they were 43. So to see women that are in the older uh, part of their lives still doing their thing that's up dope. there, that's like a that's a big thing. I was inspired. I'm like, damn. I was proud. Yeah, I was proud. Am I going to say it like you said? Is it the best Super Bowl performance? No. But they did a great job. They, they really did. did great. And I love the fact that they brought out J Balvin and, and Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. R- Rotten Rabbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, didn't see that. I was, I was yeah. on the Spanish block and they was going crazy. Nah, for real. Yeah. That, that, that oh my god. That's why diversity matters because I've seen like the Latino community was on a high oh this week. Oh my god. And also like, the, the, the message behind like the, the children behind the cages for all every you know everything that's been going so, on in, in Puerto Rico as well. They've gotten such a you know shitty response whenever they they've even now. Puerto Puerto Rico still having earthquakes and no one's really talking yeah. about mm-hmm. that. Like, 
So That's seeing, horrible. So seeing them as older women inspired you too, just the way they look. Yeah, because it doesn't matter how old you are. Like yeah. you're out there doing your thing. It doesn't matter. Like they don't really say that when a guy's performing. Yeah. They don't, sure. you know, like I, they don't say that. And it bothered me that they were, some people were like, oh, they were, it, this was like porn. They were half naked. Adam Levine last year had his shirt off, nipples exposed. Nobody said anything about that. Like, yeah, but why do you understand? When a guy takes off his it shirt, doesn't matter. If you're going to bitch nipples? about something, it's got to go both ways. <laughs> As a Cuban woman, was there ever any fear that y'all may not age gracefully? Never. Okay. No. Age. Never. I, I'm, a lot of people tell us you shouldn't say your age on the radio. Yeah. You shouldn't do that because it's bad, especially in this business. But I'm proud. There's I've got there's a lot of friends we went to high school that didn't make it. Like they're, yeah, yeah, they've yeah, yeah, yeah. been God six bless. feet under. So to me, God I'm like, bless. I'm 35. Oh, I thought proud. you meant like didn't make it. Like they got fat. Yeah, they got no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. So I'm like, I'm happy. I'm 35. Yeah, God. Pitbull should have been on that stage. But Pippo did the the pre-show, I think. I think that's why he wasn't on that main stage, because he did the pre-show before the Super Bowl uh, kicked I off. I think Flo Rider should have been up there. Yeah. Really? I think Cardi B should have been. They did I Like Cardi, It. Yes. Cardi, yes. Cardi was there. Cardi she should have been, been up there. there. Yeah. I heard Cardi didn't want to. I heard Cardi turned it down, though. Oh, oh yeah? really? I don't, know. I'm, I don't know how true that is. That's what mm-hmm. somebody told me. And a part of me thought that Shakira was going to have White Clef there for the... Um, ja Rule. Yeah. yeah. Dramos, y'all, y'all Puerto Rican brother. Uh, Which, by the way, he won't ever admit to this, but when we first started here, yeah. he was like, eh, I think Bad Bunny is corny, la 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 la. <laughs> so <laughs> where the one that put him up there? And now I'm like, oh, what happened? Well, he's, yeah. a bad, he's a Bad Bunny <laughs> fan now or something? Yeah. He was, just, oh, yes. he was oh, like, oh, man. it's kind of corny. corny. And I'm like, what do you, do you even know about your culture? Like, maybe research a little bit more. And we brought him into that culture. And now he's like 100% man, proud bro. Puerto Rican. You're lying. <laughs> yes. He didn't even know he's Puerto Rican? Uh, yes, yes, yes. No, so he, he just Rican, started he representing Puerto Rico? He no, he's always he's represented, but he, he uh, wasn't uh, as At first, he was like, this guy's corny. Like, what is he tra- his style? Like, what is he trying to say or do? Like, I don't understand oh. it. And we're like, just just, just give him a Follow Listen him. to the music and give him a chance. Like, listen to the lyrics. Yeah. Just like with hip hop, listen to what they're saying so you can understand. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh, it's corny. I'm like, he, you don't even know this dude. He said no black people were necessary because the whole point of it was to raise up the next generation of Latino culture. I don't think culture. that's true. I feel like, like I said, if a White Clef would have been there, a uh, uh, Flo Rider, he should, I, yeah, I you was know, we worked in Miami was... for three years and Flo is our friend. So I'm like, you know, he is Miami. He yeah. could have been up there. Yeah. I, you mm-hmm. know, he could have been up there. I think Pitbull for sure. Pitbull, I Pitbull and Cardi for sure. I was surprised that Pitt wasn't there, but, you But know. I could understand it because he did the pre-show. Yeah, but, that but it's not matter. the same stage. Yeah. It's, it's not, not the same stage. I don't know. Stage. I don't know what happened there. Mm. I don't know what happened there. All right, guys. I think we've had enough. You think? What, Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> take that. Take that. They broke up? <laughs> oh, you, you got to let them hear it, though. I don't think they heard it. I heard it? it. I haven't heard it. I don't know. You got to let them hear it, Taylor. Let Jason and Lulu and Lala mm-hmm. hear it. This is a good note to end on. All right, let's take a quick break uh, and show some love to Squarespace, man. All right, you can turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. All right, Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online and analytics help you grow your site in real time everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever buying domains is simple and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award winning customer support Squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers artists to gamers even restaurants and gyms so you can turn great ideas into something real okay just head to squarespace.com backslash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website Website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot. Offer code idiot. Now let's get back to the show. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, Lisa, go get that girl or tell her or send her this. Mm -hmm. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be 
do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it, though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. Mm -hmm. I, I just... It's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying things didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time, it, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to, it went to trial. Yeah, it was, the case, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was dismissed. And I think that that's how we should leave it. That's how the fuck we yeah. should leave it. Yeah. I agree. I think it's disrespectful. I, and I blame black people. Talk to me, Jason. Because y'all keep giving motherfuckers hall passes to be disrespectful. Yeah, that's bullshit. I feel like, you know, no matter what Oprah says, she's God, she could get away with it. No matter what Gail King says, because that's Oprah's girl uh, friend, it can say she can get away with it. <laughs> like, uh, Jay-Z, he could do whatever he wants. Nah. Like, that's why people, like, what we do is important because you got to hold people accountable no matter who you are. Like, why are you not focused on the many, many, many white men who abused their platforms and their positions in Hollywood? And I know they keep bringing up Harvey, but he ain't the only one. Mm -hmm. There's so many other people. The same with, like, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just find it really interesting now that we're allowing these legends or these icons to be disrespectful to our people. Lulu and Lala. I think it's completely disrespectful. I mean, the man isn't here. Yeah, and if they did have questions, why didn't you say something when he was alive? Mm -hmm. Like, why are you going to bring up his dirty laundry or whatever the case may be after he's dead? Like, it's disrespectful not only to him, but to his family. children his and to his family. wife. Mm -hmm. That they're still, they're still mourning, mourning right, right now. now. And now they have to deal with this. I think it's just completely wrong. Like, I'm offended. Yeah, I think it's uh, two sides to every story, right? And for me, it's like, Okay, a young woman says Kobe Bryant sexually assaulted her. Kobe Bryant says he didn't sexually assault her. He said that they had consensual sex. Guess what? You're free to believe whoever you want to believe. A court of law says that, you know, Kobe Bryant didn't do it. She feel, she didn't want to testify. The case got dismissed. So if Gail feels like, and I'm not, I don't even know if Gail feels like that, but if she does feel like Kobe Bryant sexually assaulted that woman, Cool. If somebody like Lisa Leslie feels like Kobe Bryant didn't, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. Don't try to push anything on anybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's, that conversation should have never even happened. It, should have been it a, never should yeah. have happened. That's the other thing. Like somebody trying to line somebody up. Like why are you trying to line? Why? Line up? Right, like, man, listen, the what does Lisa Leslie have to do with Kobe other than they played in the same city? And, and they listen, played basketball. If the woman who was an alleged victim or whatever wants to come forward now and tell her story, I don't think anybody's arguing that she should be silent. She should do whatever she want to do. do. But I feel like there's this base now especially anytime they talk yeah. to somebody black like what you think about kobe back in x day like what yeah, relax that's what we doing yeah, yeah i just think it's i just think it's crazy and in my mind i was online with people when he died the idea that he could have been holding his daughter as they crash Lord and die mm -hmm. why would we even be having this conversation right now exactly. i don't even know if he, he's not even buried yet right no i don't think so yeah. no. and why do we keep even it, let's just hypothetically say it, it is true mm -hmm. why do we reduce people to their mistakes right you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, why we, Why do we reduce, why do people's setbacks become their identity? Yeah. Clearly, that man grew, he evolved, great redemption story, came back, won championships, had kids, became such an, an ambassador for women in Kept a real way. Because intact. people will always remember the bad things that you do, and mm -hmm. they will never remember the good things, because he did a lot of good things for a lot of good people. And mm -hmm. so, we choose, well... They choose to focus on that instead of focusing on something else. They whisper your success and they scream out your failures. Yeah. How uncomfortable for Lisa Leslie, though. Like, exactly. I mean, I mean, that, that's my point. Like, even if you talk about it from a journalist perspective, right? Because, you know, Jason, we do this. Yeah, we do la -la. Yeah. yeah. But, like, me and Jason, we ask these, we ask questions that people may be like, why would you ask that? Yeah. But at least I'm asking it to them. Yeah. yeah. Why would I be asking Lisa Leslie about yeah. Kobe Bryant? Yeah. Just because they played in the same city? Just because they're both basketball players? Like, what, what, I'm surprised that she even answered. I, I probably would have yeah. just gotten I'm like this. It's over. I'm not. Don't even. Not to mention Lisa Leslie's role in L.A. with the uh, Sparks, right? Yeah. And into basketball and how she's been uh, a, a trailblazer for females in basketball. L.A. just went through the death of Nipsey Hussle. Let me yes. just put this in context. L.A. in general right now is so down like you just went through this with yeah. Nipsey now That's Kobe true. on a whole other level yeah. the day of the Grammys nobody was even talking about the Grammys yeah. they were talking about Kobe That's and and like the dust isn't even settled yet and I just keep thinking about 
his daughter and the fact that her her school has an empty chair, her her house has an empty bed. Like I just can't get over that. So I think it's just way out of pocket. But again, we've just made it permissible for these icons to do whatever they want to do. And, I, and I mean, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. yeah you get nothing were, out what of it. What's the, the point, point of that, of that conversation? That? Yeah. Like, what are you trying to do? Like, what? I don't. I don't yeah. understand the point. And I, I, I love Gail. Whoever wrote them questions I, out is like wilding. Shame on her. Yeah, yeah but they wrote online. questions out, but Gail had to say that. I mean, you you saw what was on the paper. She Gail has enough clout to be like, no, nah, I'm not going there. Well, I hope she explains it. I'm sure she will. You know, once she starts to see the backlash, I just want to know what what she was trying to get out of that conversation. I think that's what that, I would like to have know. You, do you remember that um, uh, Oprah had received an award at the Golden Globes where she got up and spoke about uh, Me Too, and she said, you know, I can't wait to the day. She ended it by saying, I can't wait to the day that no woman has to utter the words Me Too again. She really, like, had the world behind mm-hmm. her and championing, you know, champion women and wanting to get behind the Me Too movement. But I have said, like, Me Too movement has become the new HIV. It's just moving all over. Everybody's catching it. Anybody can catch it. There's no regulation for it. There's no cure to it. And if you say somebody has it, you just treat no, them a certain way. No. It's not. It's the coronavirus. You can Hello. live with HIV. Well, okay. too, maybe let's say corona. Well, we don't yeah. know coronavirus yet. <laughs> and me too takes you to fuck out. Okay, yeah, maybe can, maybe there's can... been advancement advancement in uh, medicine. Maybe that's not a good analogy, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like at, at this point, it's not really. I don't feel like it's really fair. Um, and so yeah, I mean, I think it's something that she started out really getting a lot of women behind her on, but now it's just that's a, that's just too it's much. It's become, and I hate to say it, and I'm a woman. It's kind really? of become like a, a joke, really. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not the seriousness has been diminished, like, diminished. Yeah, to a certain extent. But yeah. well, that's because they put everything in one basket. I didn't get that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like it's, like if a guy, you know, grabbed your butt back in the day, and they throw you in the same bucket as Bill Cosby. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's it's, it's, it's yeah. levels, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like everything is not the same. Everything shouldn't be in one basket, and that's what they did. Yeah, yeah it's not cool. Well, listen, uh, Jason Lee, God must have forgotten about me, is out right now. Yes. Okay. Thank you for coming, Jason. You want to give me your Twitters and Instagrams and all that stuff? All that. Oh, my Instagram. Oh, at- <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I, 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 my mind was on posting. Yeah, uh, the only Jason Lee and at Hollywood Unlocks. Lulu and Lala. Give we me Instagrams. You. Oh, at Lulu and Lala. We share one. L U L U Y L A L A. Lulu. I follow. Who else? I follow Lulu. Follow- you follow, follow yeah. yeah, you follow so all of us. Follow both of we share one Instagram. No, but I follow one of y'all personal pages. My personal, too. yeah. You you, I don't have you on my personal page? Uh-huh. That's you, the page y'all cheating on. I got yeah. a request you on that. It's really not entertaining at all. Like, <laughs> right. I have like a thousand followers. Not the public followers, profile, maybe? but them DMs lit. Nah. That's <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, Lulu, Lala, I love Thanks y'all. Thanks for having we us. Love Appreciate you. Guys. Jason, Jason we love you. Love you, even Thank though you don't you. like to say it back. I love you too, Charlemagne. Oh, shit. Jason is growing. Are you coming on? Can you come on Hollywood Unlocked, please? I'm there. I'm okay. going to be in L.A. a lot in okay. March. Like, I got like 10 L.A. dates in March because I'm taping something. So I'll be out there a lot. Nice. What? Oh, Wax. God damn it. <laughs> wax. Wax will keep his fly open. Why are you looking? Yo, you know where we were in, uh, Listen, where, where was we at when you had your dick out? Oh, that we was in South Carolina. <laughs> this what? So crazy. We was in South Carolina. We went to the barbecue restaurant, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, went to the bathroom. Wow. He came back. He just leaning on the counter. And me and my cousin Kente like, nigga, your dick is out. <laughs> <laughs> was his dick, dick really out? Yeah. <laughs> this guy is so crazy. He leaning on the Baby, counter. There's two know. kids working in there. <laughs> I'm like, yo, they're going to they make you register as a sex offender, yo. You keep this shit up. Damn. <laughs> like, like, he forgot to fucking zip his pants up. That's horrible. Uh, Give me your Instagram, Wax. Uh, Wax King, W-X-K-Y-N-G, and uh, Bullying the Beast podcast. Yes, check out the Bullying the Beast yep. podcast. And man. you go to my Instagram to find Angelo. All right. Uh, As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 